every five days to my birthday and I've not seen my designer. I've not seen the clothes. Take it slow. Bring it back. Bring it back. Let them know. Let them know. Bring it down. To the flow. Hey guys. Um, how you doing? <laughs> oh God. So this morning I am going to Odoko which is a bit far from where I live. I think it's about 14 minutes away from where I live to get my nails done. I'm going to pick a color nail bar. Now, they've been open for a while and I've been meaning to go, but I never had the time. So today, Riley has gone to school and I figured it would just be a perfect time to go and get my nails done. Actually, I was just making my birthday nails because nails are looking very crusty right now. Let me show you the other one. Like they're all broken. Usually I get the gel builder from Amari, but I think I might have to get acrylics. And if you know Mary, you know that her nail game is sick, you guys. She used to do my nails when she was in Atrigano and then she moved to a dog hall. So I'm going all the way there. And you guys, it's literally five days to my birthday, 15th of November. And I've not seen my designer. I've not seen the clothes. And sorry, I know my, my place is always a mess. So if you see that there's a lot of things going on in my background, that's that's why. Okay, I cannot I cannot kill myself. But basically, um, it's five days to my birthday and my birthday anxiety is all over the place. Like, psh, I've been so emotional lately. I think I have that. You guys, if you've been here long enough, you know that I have that thing, right? Where I get birthday anxiety or stress or whatever. I don't like my birthdays. Now, I, I think I do before I did not like it as much. And now I, I, I don't know. Anyway, Phil, if you're watching this, you and I, we are done. Okay, you're done. Like... This time I will not forgive you. I'm hurt. I'm deeply hurt. You guys, so tell me why in October my designer was like, Samira, let's get let's get this, this, that, 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 that so that we can make um your dress before your no birthday so that we can do whatever, whatever. Tell me why it is 15th. 15th of November. And I've not seen my designer. I've not seen the clothes or anything. I'm literally putting all your laundry out there because I'm really hurt this time. Only for this guy to send me a voice note yesterday telling me that um, he will have the things ready by today and that he will come and that um, the photographer says this this that so we can shoot the thing on Friday like who does that how can you just like plan my own birthday for me without even asking my birthday shoot for me like that without even asking me for my opinion I've not seen anything yet you're saying I should trust you how do I trust you like I'm really upset and I'm talking to you directly right now now I am more stressed than I should be because I don't know what's happening like it's literally five days to my birthday I have no outfit I have nothing and I'm just going with a vibe I'm really upset anyway just talking about that got me all stressed again because I will like I said I already have anxiety and this thing is just making it worse because like the reason why i don't like my birthday is that sometimes things just don't go on well and i think i've actually left that mental state where i feel like things don't go right for me like now i believe that i'm gonna attract good things but when little things like this creeps in it just makes me feel like okay yeah whatever like you've not you're still the same person like your birthdays are still whatever anyway i'm upset with you and i'm ranting right now <sighs> That was good to get off my chest. Anyway, I'm going to get ready now. Let's pack my bag. You guys, I'm taking a big bag because I've been editing a video like, oh my god, why did I use CapCut to edit a video? I, I used CapCut to edit like a long video and the stress this app has given me never, never again. Jesus, I am stressed. I've uploaded this video three times and each time it lags, like it lags so bad. Oh. I refuse to taking this bad energy and i'm sorry that you're starting this video on this note but i will do better because i refuse to attract this bad energy this energy that's glooming over me i refuse it okay i attract good and positive energy anyway let's go so i wasn't sure if i'll be able to edit while i'm there so before i left i edited a bit more which is the video that was stressing me i edited that a bit more before i started packing my stuff so in my bag i put my laptop in there i put my gimbal in there as well and i also went ahead to add my external drive for editing i added some fruits just in case i go hungry pro woman which is not sponsored by the way perfume wipes hand cream and some batteries for my camera a tampon um a brush a comb um <laughs> glasses and so on and so forth because i wanted to be as comfortable as i could be and the sun was really shining and i hadn't slept the previous night so i was trying to get as comfy as i can anyway look at my skin look at that skin though so right after that i go i ordered a bolt you guys it came in this which is very surprising because usually the bolt cars are very small and look at how crusty my nails are looking like i look like a refugee and let me be honest am i the only one who doesn't like maintenance like that like 
I love the look of maintenance. Like I like the aftermath, but I don't like the process. I don't enjoy the process because I don't like waiting for hours just to get my nails and everything else done. But anyway, I was giving you angles in this section. I know you keep seeing Pro Woman and I promise it's not sponsored. This is just something I drink when I'm extremely tired instead of um, the normal energy drinks. And it does well for me because it has um, some vitamins as well. So I really like it. Wow. Anyway, I finally got there and just look at how beautiful the place is. I was taken aback. And by the way, they do every single thing. So right there and then I decided I was going to get lash extensions, which I've never done. So I said I was going to get it done as a birthday treat, you guys. I've been so scared of getting them done because I just feel like they might hit my eyes. Anyway, for my nails, I had no inspo in mind. So I just told her to go with the flow and do something nice for me. And she definitely did. I love the outcome. Just look at how beautiful this is. I was blown away. And for my pedicure, you guys, they did this luxurious pedicure for me. Apparently, this is what they just do. But it was so bougie and I loved it so much. It made me feel like a princess. I'm not even going to lie. And apparently, some of the petals are actually soaked. So they melt as they go. Anyway, from there, we just went straight into my feet. They scrubbed it so well. So I really loved it. 10 over 10 for the pedicure. But this is what truly blew my mind. While I was there, I decided to use the washroom. And you guys, they have sanitary pad and panty liners in the washroom mind-blowing i have never seen this anywhere it just made me realize that they are girly girlies like what the hell anyway after that i went to get my lashes done and let me tell you something i was really scared because what what is this why do i have to have my eyes closed for like over an hour i was so scared i slept and woke up a couple of times you guys at a point i was just so impatient but it came out really well and i left the place around seven by the time i got home my designer was already there waiting for me so i did my first fitting i was mad at him at first but you know the dress was looking cute so i forgave him and this was me the next day. This is my lashes. What do you guys think? Do you like it or not? Can you reduce your volume for me for just a second? Okay, thank you. Hey guys, how you doing? So yesterday I got back very late, so I couldn't update you. <clears throat> so I couldn't update you. But basically, I got the lashes done for the first time. I woke up today and I don't feel any discomfort. So that's a good thing. So a year ago, if you remember, I did um, the tape-ins for my birthday. And my birthday is literally in four days now. And after I did that tape-ins, I never went back to get them. So I'm going back there today to see if they still have it. And there's no guarantee that they'll have it. But I'm praying that they'll have it. If they have it, hallelujah. If they don't have it, I'll let you guys know as well. But um, they're on our way now. Okay, it's like literally two, three minutes away, so I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. How much is the 20 grams? I won't show your face. Okay. So the 20 grams, uh, the 200 grams. Hey, 200. 200 grams, 20 inch, is now 5,500. It's 5,000 now. <laughs> you guys, you had it, which I think is a miracle because. It's been a freaking year. Beauty bar, shout out to you, okay? Shout out to you and your staff because you are the best. Also, look at how cute my nails are. Anyway, I'll be coming back to get it done. And you guys, now on tape ins are a thousand Ghana CDs. A thousand Ghana CDs for tape ins. Oh my god. Oh my god. how you doing so today is the day of the shoot and um, yeah you know it's not my life if it's not dramatic it has to be a bit dramatic okay so first of all I have no makeup artist I cannot find one the one I usually go to unfortunately she's going to Suwum in Kumasi today hey, not Suwum in Kumasi she's going to Suwum for a bridal makeup today and um, I found another one in Silicon, but they said they have someone around at the same time. <sighs> I usually pay 150 at where I go to, which is such a good deal. But the new place that I found that I said I have to go to, they said they would charge me 300 Ghana CDs, which is like, phew. It makes sense, but I still like, phew. Anyway. Also, while I was just like thinking about what to do, the tape ins that I wanted to get, they called me that um, the person who was supposed to get her hair done said she would do it around four. So I can come in round now and do it. But the thing is that if I go and do my, if I go and do the tape ins now, it's around 10:30, and I think she said it will take about two to three hours. So if I get my tape ins done now, it means I'll probably finish somewhere around one. And try to go and get my makeup done. If the makeup takes even an hour and a half, let's say okay, I finish at 1:30, right? 1:30 to 2:30, 30 to 3 So stressed. I feel like doing it in East Lagoon here makes more sense, but I just don't know any makeup artists that I can go to. So that's really stressful. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, where do I go to right now? So I'm gonna take you guys with me the whole day. So let's just go get my hair done first. 
and then let's see how it's gonna flow let's see how it's gonna roll because i really have no idea how this day is gonna go okay i'm not even sure the hairstyle i'm gonna do would be suitable for the look i want to go for but i'm just going with the flow because i'm actually really tired if i'm being honest like i'm, I'm tired <laughs> I just go back from Riley's school. I just go back from my child's school. They had like a big and seal thing going on. So we just we just go back from that please. I'm just gonna get ready right now and go. And um fingers crossed, hopefully it turns out nice because so far I feel defeated. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel flat. <laughs> I was asking her to um, straighten it, but I think I might have, I might just go with it like this because I like it. You guys, I'm here now. I was rushed, so I didn't see anything to you guys in the car, but we're finally here. I'm gonna get my makeup done and then we'll be on our way. So, I like your one for that. But I did make a quick issue. I'll be a down and about here. We are the back. What color is it? I'm going to be black. My first win, I think the, the thing will be the same. But later on, maybe I'll change into red lipstick. But I already have a, I have a red lipstick here. So, that one, yeah, later on. Okay. Listen, no one told me that we we're gonna do this right in front of the road, like in the streets. So when we got that you should like you could imagine my shock, you guys. We had to do it on the main road where every car, everyone was literally looking. Along the line, I did meet one of you and she was super super sweet. Say hi. hi. But you guys, I just had to swallow it and do it, okay? I was so shy, I was so embarrassed. But anyway, <laughs> it came out well. We just finished Hello. this one. I'm sure you guys saw how how it went. Yes. But now we are going to next door. Next door is the next street. We just went. And I apologize that my hair is looking like I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. It's just <laughs> a lot. So we'll feel you when we get there. <laughs> Unfortunately, we missed the sunset and couldn't film the second outfit at the location we had planned initially. So we ended up going somewhere else. And you guys, what the photographer did totally blew my mind. You guys, from a minute to the other, he thought of a great idea. And before I knew it, we were filming in a very dark place with just car lights. And the results will totally blow your mind. Wait for it. Hey guys, so I'm back home now. Today was such a long day. Now, you guys, when I tell people that a lot of people don't get my face right, they always think that I'm just being extra but a lot of people do not get my face right i don't know i don't know if it's my skin tone i don't know if there's something i'm not doing right but a lot of makeup artists do not get my face right this makeup artist she was really good you could see like she took her time like you could just see that she was a very good artist but when she finished it it was just not my shade like it was it just did not give what i wanted it to give and of course i did say thank you and everything but and i did go on with the shoot but as you can see like it is not like okay you be the judge what do you think about my makeup okay i don't know if i'm being extra but i don't know i think there's something wrong with my skin i don't know seriously that is actually why i started learning how to do my makeup that is how i i learned how to do my makeup because i was just like there's something going on like as soon as i go back home we're like what the hell is wrong with your face <laughs> which was actually hilarious do you guys see anything wrong with it i don't know i don't know the shade was not it but anyway, I think it's just my skin. I think it's my face. And I have to find a way to make it work. I don't know how. The only person that gets my face right is Nae's Beauty. And I don't know how she does it. I really don't know. Like, I was shocked. And I'm still shocked that she gets my face right. Because a lot of very good makeup artists do not get my face right. Like, I've been to the best of the best. 
and they don't get my face right so it is what it is anyway i'm gonna take off my makeup now i have some old rice in the fridge you know and some pepper i'm gonna eat that because i'm starving you girl starving but like, i don't have the energy to do anything else i'm just gonna end today's video here and if there's anything exciting happening tomorrow i'll probably show it my sister is coming over tomorrow so i'm gonna do that anyway if you don't follow me on instagram please do that because this next week right after my birthday i'm gonna be doing like a, a couple of days of um ghanaian brands like outfits from ghanaian brands and i'm super excited because you know i i actually under, underestimated ghanaian brands like when i started looking for clothes all i found was like these boo boo clothes like i was just like what's happening like ghana why are they in Yashiana? because I, I always see nigerian brands and like they're always beautiful and all of a sudden i started finding i started finding all these nice pieces like there's this one of my favorites the brand by jani oh my god you guys she's the next big thing that's gonna happen in ghana because <sighs> talent i'll show you guys i'll show you guys but like that girl is so talented like literally and i also saw another one but anyway the brand journey the brand journey she stole my heart i'm not even gonna lie her pieces and the price they are going for doesn't make sense i know for a fact that most people will be selling those ones and like whatever i hope she really makes it because she's so talented you guys and when i post it i beg you in the name of god go and buy from her okay because she's really good and i really want her to make it in this life that talent doesn't deserve to be in the house at all okay i'm gonna go all out for her because i know that she deserves it anyway i'm gonna go clean my makeup now good night guys we'll talk to you tomorrow oh my god i forgot to tell you if you guys see how ash it was when i came back <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot. I'm always doing this. I forgot to tell you guys. Like, you guys, the photographer I worked with, but today, um, what's his name? Ajiman. Oh my god, he's the most talented person I know I've met. I've met a lot of talented photographers, but how he thinks baffles my mind. So, initially, we're supposed to go to the next door, like the beach itself, and then get the sunsets and everything. And then, unfortunately, we're late, so like, I was late, so like, the sun was already set and it was evening when we went, and this guy just stuck on his feet. Like, anyway, I feel like it would have been nicer outside, but this is still not bad, so I'll show you. And also, I think I'm gonna still do another shoot with that dress, because, like, that dress is too cute. It has to, it has to see daylight. It has to see daylight. Anyway, see you guys. The next time I'm coming, I'll probably be showing you my, my pictures, okay? So, stay tuned, baby! <laughs>